actually scheduled to meet with the Chicago crew and the New York crew. I'll start tearing the city apart. I'm tired of waiting. And I, and I think that's great. Um, our, my big frustration is we're dealing with, you know, FEMA's great to work with. They're very responsive. They're return phone calls. I just got off the phone with FEMA five minutes ago. Let me, let me turn this, let me go over this way. The, the issue we face is a lot a lot of the money, the money that flows to buyouts, the money that flows to residents long term, the non-road drives, comes through HUD. HUD is not a disaster relief agency. They move very slowly. It will be a year and a half post-disaster before we complete our first buyout. That is the biggest issue we face in a year and a half from when it occurred. What's that? A year and a half from when it occurred last year. A year and a half from when the flood occurred is when people received their first buyout checks. So how could anybody be happy with that? So that's my big frustration is the federal government can fund cash for clunkers in an afternoon because they they think it's going to run dry, but Iowa is left high and dry for a year and a half. And that's the issue. So um, you say you say by the by end of this year, buyouts will be happening in earnest. The city has no money. Yet. We have no money. No. The, the notice of funds available was announced today. But what I'm saying is the city is saying that it's going to take you four to six months once you get the money to buy the it, it will take, what it will take is, we'll get the money in November. We'll submit it to the state for duplication of benefits check. They'll say, you're clear to make an acquisition. And, and like a normal home acquisition, like when you buy a home and there's a sale pending sign, that process will take about four weeks. <laughs> there, there is no intent. Beyond the buyout issue, there's plenty of people who want to rebuild, right? What we did. So what happens to buyout? People are finding out now that they can rebuild. The city can't stop them. Is there, is there a mechanism to help with that? Well, we've got a mechanism to slow it down, though. You can have, we have several programs that are out there for dispersing funds. Uh, for, for dispersing funds, there are several programs set up to disperse funds. Our, our issue is getting money from the federal government through the state and into the Cedar Rapids. That's, that is our biggest frustration. We're telling that story nationally that we're still here and the disaster is not taken care of. There's a New York Times article that will be coming out, and I talk about the, the disaster in Cedar Rapids is not the flood. The disaster is what's happened after the flood. Um, and and that's, that's the issue. Everybody here can understand the river gets high. And, yeah. and, and these people have reacted remarkably to to what they've been The city physically reacted well to the flood initially. Um, the issue is afterwards. What is the city, what can the city do differently? Sir, uh, can I ask you a question real quick? You say there's funding available, but my neighbor that lives one block behind me since the under construction. Uh, he pulled his jump start money and said he could get no help. That's so correct. The majority of us that were affected the hardest, no, we no. He's correct. In the construction, and the worst part is when you speak to the Corps of Engineers, they said they only care about Greenwood. You've instituted construction in the city. Right. Not the Corps of Engineers, not the federal government. You guys did. That's correct. Just like when you help us with the down payment assistance, we found homes in our price range for 80 75 in Marion, Fairfax, Belle Plain, your city put a stupid ass rule in there that we had to buy in the city limits. The homes for 75, 80,000 were gone. You forced us to buy 120, 125,000 dollar houses. 
was our freedom. Huh? And there's yeah. a problem that you guys have realized how stupid that was, and a year later you changed it. Well, what about the, the 284 of us, the $7.5 million oopsie is what it averages out yeah. to, that are now be considering duplication of benefits, not at the federal level, straight out of Chuck Grassley's mouth, not at the city level, but you guys are saying it's the state's problem. Which you guys apparently, the state has been telling us you've known about it for six to eight months and decided to tell us a month and a half ago. Mm -hmm. The city decided to finally fess up. Now you guys are trying to back tell and fix this problem and you're saying it's the state problem? I don't care whose problem it is. People at Countrywide are in prison for lying when people are filling applications out. When your representatives that you hired for affordable network housing sat here and told me this would not be duplication of benefits, don't wear your house to be affordable, we would buy you out, we're not going to take this money from you. You guys were wrong. You sat right there and lied to me the same way Countrywide did to millions of people. And you guys need to either go to jail for lying to us, or you need to take that one cent local option tax, pony up the 7.5 million, and fix the problem that 284 families are having that are about to lose their homes because they can't afford to keep paying double payments and they can't afford a payment that's higher because the taxes are getting so damn high here because you guys put stupid rules in effect not letting us rebuild and then turn around and telling us we had to buy in the city limits. You guys realize it was a mistake, you changed it too late. And, and you're you're absolutely, you're correct. I mean, I, I can't. You're correct. You have one of those have the power to do this? Let me, let me respond. I mean, I know I like you again. Same when you want to fix it. Sounds like it's a sound one. Yeah, I want to know when you can fix it. If the federal government, Mr. Bradford, says it's not a problem, the city's now saying it's not a problem. You're saying it's the state. Where's your answer on how you're going to fix it for it? You just need to do something. Yeah, let's give him a chance to say something. Yeah, I mean, you, you are correct in, 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 in everything that you said. And, and if you'll, if I've, was in your situation, I'd be every bit as upset. Right, and I'm not mad. You're mad too. And and while I'm here, you know, as the flood recovery director, and it's my role to, to, to take this. So, uh, you know, we are working with the state on that, and, and we will have an answer by the end of the month. Um, and so, we. Uh, <laughs> well, do you think that will address the 280 people who are? I think it will address duplication of benefits. Why are we getting 280? The 284 of us that have down payment assistance that were forced to buy in the city limits when they gave out the jump start money, which came to just short us. I have a question. Can I just say, I think this is another cowardly move on the city. It seems like after they made all these terrible decisions, then they decide to hire Greg to come along and take the brunt of it all. Yeah, and, yeah, and he gets all the money. Right. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You know, okay. we're not a He's coming for a message. He can take yeah. back with him. Yeah. He's their mouthpiece. We can talk to him. Yeah. Hear out what they know say. How and we can tell him what they say. And he can take it back to them. And tell what, them what about this triple A credit rating that they've been grossing that we have? Okay, if we got this kind of credit rating, go out and borrow the money. Wait, the money's coming. Or is the money coming? The money is coming. Then go out and borrow the money, give it to us, get us on our way, and when the money comes in, you pay it back. Hey, is that simple? Let's, That's let's how you fix it. Let's kind of do hands or something. And, and, and the purpose really is to give Ed some information on our various issues, too, because, because we're hoping he'll help us raise awareness with others. I, I want to know if the city is going to be checked for duplication of funds. Is the city going to be checked for duplication of funds? And jump start. You're saying that what the city's getting? Yeah. For me? Yeah. I, I, I don't know how it would apply. Okay. If you have an idea, let me know. I, I, got a question. <laughs> I want to know if the city was going to be checked for duplication of funds. Yeah, they should be. My situation, I'm kind of speaking for 554 people that were on the 10th of December, six months after the flood, where suddenly an arbitrary line was drawn by the city. This took in 554 businesses and property where some of us had already began to rebuild because we could not wait for the city to make a decision in our lives we had to move on and decide to rebuild. The city allowed us to have a building permit if we had a structural engineer and a surveyor come to our property and we were to abide by what the city had set up. 
and we could begin to rebuild. Is that the construction zone? The construction zone, which the Corps of Engineers was originally blamed for making that decision. The Corps did not draw those lines. It was the city.